What's up guys, Ants Canada here, Mikey Bustos, checking in with another video. Uh, thank you to all our subscribers for watching this video and for watching all of our Ant videos and for supporting the store, uh, AntsCanada.com. We really appreciate the support and of course we love to help you guys with your Ants. Uh, so I have a special video uh, today. I wanted to um, show you a new queen that came into my possession. Uh, she is an Adontomachus queen. Uh, belonging to that genus of ants that are known as tra trap jaw ants because of, um, well, you'll see, they've got mandibles that kind of stick out like this and then they have little kind of um, uh, feeler organs that once something touches it, it goes Psh! their jaws uh, snap. Um, and I'm really excited about this queen because I've I personally have only read about them um, but uh, they are quite common here in the Philippines. So uh, it was she was given to me, and she now has eggs, um, and I believe larvae. So really excited about that. I'll show you the queen now. You'll see her here. And here we have our chap jaw ant queen. Adontomachus is the name of the genus. Let's fix that there. Um, and she's a beautiful specimen. Check her out. Check out those jaws. Those mandibles, um, which are relatively straight, they're capable of opening 180 degrees. And um, they have sensory organs uh, in the middle of those jaws that once something touches them, <laughs> those jaws shut. And actually at record-breaking speeds. Um, they also use that action to help them um, flip, <laughs> surprisingly. They can totally jump out of the way if there's a predator or something. Um, they can totally somersault out of the way using those jaws. According to Wikipedia, the there was a study done on Odontomachus bauri species, um, and those jaws were recorded to travel as fast as um, 126 to 230 kilometers per hour. That's amazing. Closing in just 130 microseconds, microseconds uh, on average, with a peak force exerted that was around 300 times its body weight. That's pretty amazing. As you can see, there is a um, grouping of young there. She's been tending to them now for about a week. Over here to the, there she goes, to the upper left side of the test tube. It's a grouping of eggs and larvae there. And then um, there's also a little spot on the right, lower right, which is um, mold, which is starting to grow in the cotton. Um, but it's not too bad yet, so that's a good thing. Great queen. Now I've been trying to feed her uh, insects and a dr you can see a little deposit of honey there, um, but she's not interested in food at all. So I'm just going to leave her and let her continue to raise her young and hopefully she um, gives rise to a beautiful and growing colony of trap jaw ants. I'm really excited because this is the first time I've ever uh, kept this species. For those of you out there um, who are enjoying the anting season um, in North America and in Europe, uh, congratulations and um, the ants that you probably have now are starting to have their young. Um, I totally recommend you guys check out uh, AntsCanada.com uh, for your ant colonies. Uh, of course we provide professional ant keeping equipment, uh, premium equipment, top of the line museum quality, um, and uh, I totally recommend you purchase the Habitat Nest Classic, uh, which is the frame nest, or if you want a two-in-one, which is the nest and the nut world all together, uh, we have our brand new Ants Canada Habitat Nest 3D, which basically is 
uh, both a Nest and a Nut World all in one unit. Um, those products are new and they are manufactured in our Manila um, location. So if you live um, outside of Asia, you can you have to expect that it's going to take shipping can be anywhere between four to eight weeks. Um, and so be sure to order within that um, that time frame, keeping in mind uh, the shipping time. Um, otherwise, if you need it shipped uh, express or priority, um, we can definitely do that. We can ship within 15 to 20 days or even sooner uh, by plane, uh, but you would have to cover that extra uh, shipping cost if that's what you want, um, if you live in US or Canada or in Europe. If you live in Asia, you'll get it uh, I th a lot sooner, I believe. Um, but just email us anyway to inquire. There we go. Look at her, she's great. She looks kind of menacing, actually. Her cleaning herself. Um, in terms of queens, if you're having problems finding queens, of course we have our brand new Global Ant Nursery program which just reopened. It initially closed um, for about a year, uh, but now it's reopened again and we have a growing number of Global Ant Nursery farmers from around the world who are willing to sell their queens and their colonies. So check that page out and if you see that we have a GAN farmer in your area and you're interested in purchasing uh, their colonies, be, feel free to contact us. It's contact-us at antcanada.com. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Wish me luck on this queen. Yeah.